Hey guys, welcome back to Rossoneri TV. I'm Joe and I'm here for the match review of AC Milan against Fiorentina. Match I finished moments ago at the San Siro where Milan picked up a huge, huge win against the Viola. 2-0 with goals coming in from Baca and Boateng. Possibly one of the best matches overall that we've seen from Milan all season round. A game where Milan was fully determined to win from the very first minute. And just after a few minutes, Baca was actually able to open up the scoring with yet another assist from Jack uh, Bonaventura. Everything was going perfect for Milan from the get-go. Uh, defensively, you could just see that the team was very stable in the right mindset and literally sticking to all... Uh, the Fiorentina players not giving them enough space to even uh, make concrete chances. And they did so throughout the whole game. Really positive performance from the whole back line. Especially Antonelli, guys. The, he's just a tank. Every game, I just keep loving this guy more and more. And of course, we obviously can't forget uh, Donnarumma. This guy, once again, 16 years of age. Another clean sheet under his name at Milan. And I was just thinking of this... Uh, while watching him, man, must his parents be very proud of him uh, at that age doing things like that. That's just incredible. But um, it was a good game from the whole team, honestly. There's not a player I could really talk uh, negative about uh, today. What I also really liked was Montolivo, guys. Obviously, he's had, he's had some very rough times. Very, very rough times. Uh, but today... What I saw from Montolivo was almost like the Montolivo that I saw back at Euro 2012. The guy that pretty much was making those passes, was making those smart decisions. And today, once again, we saw him much like that game against Capi where he was tracking back and actually playing very close to the defense. He did that once again today and was vital in the, the defending zone at least. But he also... Create a chance for uh, our attacking players as well. And that's the Montolivo we need on a weekly basis. If he wants to regain the trust of the fans, he needs to continue this way. And hopefully, he starts becoming more consistent um, on a weekly basis. Up front, once again, Baca, the man, vital. Uh, always finishing his chances. What a goal that was right away, as I mentioned before. Uh, really set the tone to the match. And uh, on the contrary to other times where Milan will obviously start on the right foot and then slowly die out, that didn't happen today. And you could just see the real enthusiasm from the whole entire team, uh, which were able to get this very important result, which now puts us only three points behind fifth place, which is Roma. And this was the perfect start to the second half of the season. Obviously, you can't ask for more. Milan need to continue playing like this and actually getting the results that they deserve this time around. They can go on dropping points against low table teams. If we play like this every game with the full intensity like we did today, I'm sure that we will walk out with a rather big opportunity at the end of the season. So uh, that is pretty much it. I also liked how uh, Boateng came in that second half. Almost, I think it was 10 minutes left in the match or something. And he finished that goal. His first goal uh, from um, the day that he came back to Milan. And that beautiful assist given by Kuchka. Also to note, two substitute players were in that action for that goal. So, very nice to see. Baltelli also came on for the first time after several months. Uh, and uh, didn't have that much of an impact, of course. Play like maybe five minutes, but uh, hopefully we'll get to see much more of him in uh, the long run, and especially for the remainder of the season. I was actually very surprised with how uh, Fiorentina played today. I wasn't expecting them to play this bad, but credit needs to be given to Milan, which they, in my opinion, completely understood Fiorentina's plan and uh, really imposed their own tactics on them to avoid that their plan was executed to perfection. So uh, hopefully we'll see once again much more like what we saw today and uh, we continue on building on this result next week when we meet Empoli. 
That wraps up today's match review, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Rolls Nerd TV to stay updated with everything related to AC Milan. And I'll catch you guys later for another video. This has been Gio signing off from Rolls Nerd TV. And as always, Forza Milan. In recent days, the main complication was, of course, the Qatari funds' denial of this move. But finally, it seems that they have resolved the issue.